C. Van Foss here at HE.net with your IPv6 update number 48. Today we'll attempt to address questions about the former Class E IPv4 address space. In the beginning of it all, the entire range of V4 addresses was partitioned off into five classes. Class A, B, and C were general unicast, and Class D was multicast, but Class E was designated for experimental use. Given that we're facing a distinctive shortage of V4 space, it sort of makes sense to want to claim those 268 million unused addresses. Two internet drafts have been composed suggesting that we set the former class E space for general use, but nothing has come of it. Why? Because many IP implementations consider the IPs in that range to be invalid. The check for invalid addresses could occur in many places, at the datagram receipt, before IP datagram transmission, when an IP address is assigned to a network interface or by routers and firewalls. Since TCP IP stacks don't accept addresses from class E space, we need an internet-wide initiative to make it work. One giant patching operation on a large install base from the Apple, Microsoft, and Linux communities. Opening up the class E space would give us a slash 4 net block, or about 18 months worth of IPv4. Would the extra v4 space help us out with dual stacking while switching to an all the time all v6 environment? Yes. Is an effort to integrate the 240 slash 4 block likely? No. Sorry. You already know Hurricane's perspective. A full transition to IPv6 is the best long-term solution to address and concerns.